I mean, if me and Hangman walk down a dark alley, who the do you think's coming out? You. No rules, no ref. One guy enters, one guy leaves. Who the do you think's coming out? If you don't want it to be over, then it doesn't have to be over. It's because it's you don't long. know the counter to seventh grade wrestling moves. After all this that we have seen, the hard hitting action, it was just a simple counter that won the match. I'm supposed to be celebrating here. I won two out of three. I should be happy. You won two out of three. What is he upset about? After you lose two out of three, you say, all right, I lost. Shake hands, you're the better man. Coral. You're the better man. Let's do it again in the year. That's one of them. Well, that was the best case scenario that he got yeah. pinned and didn't get knocked out and didn't get his arm snapped and didn't get concussed again. That was the best case scenario for him. He should be happy. Hey, you'll beat him three out of five, beat him five out of seven, as many as he wants. As many as he wants. He'll keep one. If you don't learn your lesson, maybe it's time for another one. You, you want to talk about our third match. Our third match, I beat John Moxley's ass straight for two minutes, and at the very last second, he reached up, grabs my head, gets me through the old ball and chain pin, and manages to, I think he would agree, escape. If I had to think of one word to describe Moxley and Hangman Adam Page, this rivalry, physicality. It's about more than wins and losses. It's about more than championships. This has become deeply personal. I know you think we got unfinished business, but we don't. This is purely just two wrestlers wanting to prove to be the best. If there's ever a definition of slobber knocker, it's Moxley and Paige. There is no chance that you will ever beat me again. If you'd have asked me about John Moxley months and months ago, I would have said that. I maybe admired him. I think it ends when two men go back in that cold, dark alley and only one gets to come out. These two guys are gonna collide and we've seen the collisions before. They've both put each other on the shelf and in the hospital and whatnot. Texas death. Buckle up, it's gonna be nasty. The idea of a Texas death match is to not answer the bell. It's a match built for destruction. If you want to go down that road, a true war of attrition, absolute nuclear winter bombs going off everywhere, only one of us survives, all you got to do is say the goddamn word. You want me to paint a picture of what the match is going to be like? I'll paint a picture of Revolution in blood. Moxley loves to bleed. He bleeds all the time. Well, he's damn sure going to bleed at Revolution enough to paint the entire canvas red. I think that this is going to be almost a therapeutic moment for both of these guys at Revolution. A dangerous, bloody, brutal, therapeutic moment. When you put me in a Texas death match, it will be the end of you. It is not something to be proud of. It is not something to aspire to. I live for this. What could happen to me in this Texas death match after what happened in our first encounter? I don't know. And to be honest, yeah, that's, that is a little scary. But you are not the same animal as me. I think this could be the scariest match we've ever seen in AEW.